Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm joined now by Saul Anousis. He is the chairman of the Michigan Republican Party. Saul, welcome back to Spotlight. Great to be here. Uh, you are one busy, busy man <laughs> right about now. Um, as we sit here two days from now, uh, the focus, the national political focus, will be on the city of Dearborn in Michigan. Um, all of the Republican Republican candidates for president are going to be here. Will it be all of them? Let's clarify right now, is anybody not going to be here? Yeah, no, all the candidates that have qualified to be on the ballot will be here. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they will all be here uh, this weekend or this week uh, coming up, and uh, it will be Fred Thompson's first debate. What does this mean to bring it here, to have it in Michigan, besides the national focus? Um, what are the potential benefits? Well, I think there's a couple benefits. Uh, first of all, obviously, for the people of Michigan, it allows us to get a better feel for what our candidates are like, uh, who they are. Uh, secondly, for the candidates themselves, it's going to expose them to Michigan, the issues affecting Michigan. Uh, this debate is going to be about uh, economic issues, so we're going to be talking about, about the auto industry, about manufacturing, about other things that relate to Michigan. And then number three, for us as a state, uh, it allows us to get a better feel for them from a kind of political leadership standpoint. So, you know, bringing, having this memory, having the Republicans and Democrats here in Michigan more often, I think is a huge advantage from a bipartisan standpoint. The budget crisis is not over and done with, even though they've made some progress on this. Do you see with the national spotlight coming here that this is going to be a time in which uh, Republicans are going to beat up on uh, Democrat Governor Jennifer Granholm and use the budget situation to say, hey, you know, if you had had a Republican in there, maybe you wouldn't be in this well, situation. Not, not necessarily. I think okay. this is going to be focused on the presidential race. Clearly, you know, Michigan's in a unique situation. Uh, we have the highest unemployment in the country at 7.4%. Uh, we're the only state in the country that has lost jobs six years in a row that wasn't hit by a hurricane. Uh, Michigan is really a unique state in the sense that we're really the only state in the country kind of in our single state recession. Um, so, you know, when we just come off of a you know, the largest tax increase in the history of Michigan that was passed, you know, primarily by the Democrats, pushed by this governor. I mean, that's a political issue, and they may bring it up that that's not the way to turn an economy around. Mm -hmm. But I think that, in general, this is going to be about national issues and, and about issues that maybe are affecting the state more on trade, uh, fair trade, uh, you know, environmental issues, uh, and, and basic economic issues that would affect the country as a whole. Chairman Anousis, you could have gone anywhere in the state. You could have gone over on the west side, Grand Rapids, which is a strong Republican stronghold. Uh, you could have taken it to Oakland County, which uh, traditionally has been uh, a good place for Republicans. But you decided to bring it into Wayne County. Why Wayne County? Why the city of Dearborn? Well, I think that, you know, one, obviously, Wayne County and, and Metro Detroit is a swing area. That's the home of the Reagan Democrats. Uh, that's also uh, the, um, you know, a lot of swing voters come from that area, so I thought it was a great opportunity. Uh, number two, obviously, the venue was important. I mean, we, we took a look at what venues were available around the metro Detroit area as well as around the whole state. And uh, Dearborn had one of the best venues. And then I, I, I must admit, my alma mater is University of Michigan Dearborn, so I cheated a little bit. <laughs> had a little and, something and, to do yeah, with your judgment. I figured right I'd there. give them a little bit of a, a, a plug if we could. So. It, it, bringing the Republican candidates for president here, is it also a way where you are saying as chair of the Michigan Republican Party, yes, this has been a blue state, maybe a close blue state, but it's been a blue state for the last few national elections. We are not going to concede that Democrats, you have this state locked up, and we're going to prove it by bringing our candidates in here and showcasing it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, listen, Michigan has been a swing state. The Democrats have won couple elections, but the reality is it's always been very, very close. Which Democrat do you fear the most? Well, you know, look, I, I'm not sure we fear any of them uh, more or less than, than they are. I think that if you take a look at the leading camp, I, I believe it's going to be Hillary. I you think that, it's that, be that the race okay. is now, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton's to lose on the Democratic side, and, and I think Do that you believe any of your, any or all of your candidates in November could beat oh, absolutely. Senator Clinton? Look, I, I think Senator Clinton is, you know, she supports nationalized health care. She uh, has been horrible on FA. She has been horrible from a from a Michigan perspective. This is a senator that would be way out of touch with the Michigan mainstream. And I think that not only around the country, but in Michigan in particular, I think that this will be very competitive against a, a Senator Clinton. Um, you've been criticized by some within your own party during the budget negotiation process, saying that as chair of the party, you inserted yourself too much into it, you put too much pressure, brought too many politics, uh, and placed it on the heads of some of the Republicans in the state legislature. 
Brooks Patterson, Republican, sat here a couple weeks ago and in a rather nice way basically said, I think uh, Chairman Anousis has maybe overstepped his boundary a little bit. Um, uh, he works for the party, not the other way around. Uh, do you believe you've overstepped your boundary yeah, in that process? I don't think so. Look, I represent the party as a whole. I mean, there's over 100,000 members of the party that, that elected me. Uh, they're representatives, the precinct delegates who are our activists, some 5,600 statewide. And we are a, a party that believes in limited government, less taxes, and, and we believe we could have balanced this budget, as do the legislative leaders, by the way. I mean, I took the position that Senator Mike Bishop and Republican leader Craig DeRoche in the House took, and that was that we should balance the budget by reforming state government, cutting the cost of doing government, living within our means, rather than passing the largest tax increase in the history uh, of this state. And, and Governor Granholm and 69 Democrats voted in favor of this tax where only two Republicans broke on the House side and four on the Senate side that voted with them. This was a Democratic pass tax increase and I don't think it's going to create a single job. In fact, I think it will be a job killing tax. It will hurt us. And so I represented the views of our party and that is live within our means, balance the budget without raising taxes, reform Michigan first. And, and of course the flip side of that uh, very quickly is that if a bunch of Republicans get booted out because of the budget process and you lose control of the Senate and you don't regain control of the House, they'll be coming after Saul Anousis. Come after Saul. I mean, we are a party of, of less taxes and limited government, and I think that uh, almost all of our Republicans voted that way, and that's what they believed was the right thing to do, and we could have balanced this budget without raising taxes, and that's our point. All right, Mr. Chairman, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having uh, me. We'll, uh, have a close eye on you on Tuesday oh, when I'm you'll sure. be front and center. <laughs> Thank All right. you very Thanks much. So Good much. to see you. All right. Always yep. a pleasure talking with you.